Hello and welcome back to the socially distanced offices of Firefly Studios London. Today we're going to be talking about our first major content update for Stronghold Warlords in the form of our first skirmish trail update. That's right, you can head over to Steam and GOG right now to download the latest update which includes 10 trail missions and two multiplayer maps. Uh, but also our mounted Samurai Lancer unit, the Healing Field Hospital, and two new Warlords in the form of the Beetle and the Bear. Now, obviously with the release of version 1.4, we've come to the end of our spring summer roadmap for the game, uh, but worry not, we've got another summer autumn roadmap of content coming soon for Stronghold Warlords, which you can find out more about by sticking around until the end of the video. Our first of several planned skirmish trails, today's update adds 10 missions and two difficulty settings with which to tweak the challenge on offer. Set across a mix of old and new maps, Warlord's initial skirmish trail is designed to be built on in future updates, with the classic Crusader feature of the chicken making you feel right at home. Now, just to slow things down for people who aren't major Stronghold fans, because we know there are some of you watching this video, um, a skirmish trail is a series of challenging missions with unique setups. So um, these variables include AI opponents, uh, warlords, starting goods, teams, uh, resources. These will all vary between missions, providing you with a unique challenge at each stage. And now for something completely different in the form of the Samurai Lancer. Uh, that's right, Warlords is the first game in the Stronghold series to have post-release support in the form of units, providing new options for skirmishes out in the battlefield or castle sieges. Use the Samurai Lancer to buff any nearby mounted units, or in the heat of battle, charge down enemies with a fast movement speed comparable to the Auxiliary Cavalry, and a respectable damage output on par with her Imperial Brethren. Last but not least, you can use these Samurai Lancers to chase down and destroy those f***ing horse archers who've been harassing your peaceful rice farmers for the last 10 minutes. Seriously, leave the peasants to their paddies, okay? Leave them to their paddies. Half rice rations? We'll starve. Now, before we continue, I have some devastating news. <laughs> The news is, I didn't write this part of the script. <laughs> Over 80% of the people who watch videos on our channel are actually not subscribed. So if you want to stay up to date with the latest Stronghold news, past, present, 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 <laughs> present and future, uh, please subscribe to the channel and um, hit that notification bell if you aren't already subscribed. Two brand new Warlords arrive on the scene today with the addition of the Beetle and the Bear. The Bear Warlord is all about strength in numbers, improving the buff radius of Imperial Bannermen and making Imperial troops in general more affordable. The Bear is also effective for helping to feed your population with food-related edicts and can even launch siege attacks of his own. And personally, for me, if a Warlord can't attack another Warlord, nah, what's the point? Get out of here. Now, unfortunately, the hibernation edict, which sent all enemy buildings to sleep, was a little too overpowered, so we had to cut that one. But you know, if you want it in the game, hashtag hibernation edict, get it trending on Twitter, they might think about it. Meanwhile, the Beetle Warlord is a master of defense, giving the player access to cheaper castle traps and shipments of armor, but can also deploy what we expect to be a popular new structure, the Healing Field Hospital. After countless Discord messages, YouTube comments, Facebook posts, 
and every other form of communication imaginable to man uh, from players both before and after release, uh, requesting the ability to heal units. The Field Hospital has now finally been added to the game as a Beetle Warlord Edict. This finally gives you the ability to heal units over time, and you can even further boost the healing power of the Field Hospital by upgrading your Beetle Warlords. Now, continuing the theme of player feedback, we have two new maps for you today in the form of Ascendance and Guarded Crossings. With generous build areas and Ascendance being a large map, today's update brings the total number of available maps to 16. Uh, this is in addition to our free build maps and of course, uh, many more maps coming in future updates. So let's see if you can ascend to victory and say, it's no use, Anakin. I have the high ground! <laughs> what the fuck is that? Because <laughs> you have the high ground, right? Because it's like a high ground on the map. I, mean, I guess. <laughs> it's the prequels, Aaron! <laughs> it's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! So, what else is coming? Well, I won't spoil anything ahead of the summer autumn roadmap reveal, which is coming next month. I will say, however, that it includes four quite different updates to the game. Our post-release plan is constantly shifting and adjusting the player feedback, but essentially now the plan is to quietly work on content, uh, which we then highlight when it's out there and actually in your hands, just as we've done today. Warlord still has a load of content planned for it and we're excited to add stuff like new AI opponents, uh, units, maps, Warlords, and more in 2021. As Aaron said in the uh, first episode of the Stronghold Show, there's a lot in the pipeline for both strategy and builder fans here at Firefly. You know, the future of the series is bright and this of course includes post-release content for Warlords uh, that we think you'll enjoy. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and more importantly, the new update. Let us know what you think of version 1.4, the missions and the features in that update in the comments below and on Discord. And as always, subscribe. And if you have subscribed, hit that notification bell for the latest Stronghold news in the future.